what is going on guys so today I have a video and from the title of it some of you guys will like this some of you guys will not but I am considering selling my 2003 Mustang Cobra Terminator the reason why is because I have my eyes on my next dream car and I think it's about time to make that happen so I am looking for a 1314 GT500 I am looking at a few in the area and around the country selling this car allows me to go ahead and do that um, some of you guys may have seen it for sale some of you have not I am considering selling Selling the car complete um, for kind of a premium I guess you could say I, I did put a post out there uh, to just get some kind of traction see if anybody wants it the way it is I'd prefer to return it to stock and sell it for um, mid to upper 20s in a stock ish car um, and by that I mean taking off the blower um, taking off the fuel system taking out the mantic clutch and putting a stock ish replacement one in there preferably taking the long tubes off if I can um, and stuff like that um, because I can use the long tubes on uh, the yellow 01 Cobra I can use the fuel system on the bullet if we turn that up and um, I mean there's a lot of stuff I can do with the parts that come out of this. I can even use I believe the Manta clutch on a GT500. But if it does sell altogether, uh, it is okay. It is a little bit easier to sell. Actually, it's a lot easier to sell altogether. And I have seen a lot of people reacting to this and they're saying, hey, you know what? Why don't you sell the bullet and the 01 Cobra? Problem is the bullet, I mean, and the 01 Cobra together might fetch 15 grand, maybe, uh, if, if both of them worked out pretty well. Um, this car is worth, you know, mid to upper 20s. And I mean, I might actually, you know, in terms of uh, supporting the GT500, it's actually almost better to return to the stock and sell it as a stock car um, because, you know, in the end, uh, it ends up working out to be more money and uh, more extra car parts for the other cars. So uh, there has been a lot of reaction to it and, um, you know, I kind of understand it, but the reason why I'm doing this is I had this car down from October until February and it really didn't bother me that it was down all that time. Um, now, it, I mean, obviously, one of the reasons why it doesn't bother me is because it doesn't add any more miles to the car and it stays pretty much perfectly intact. Um, but I, I mean, having it back has been great, but I don't really feel the crazy excitement for the car, kind of like I used to. I think that's because I've just had so many new edge Mustangs and I'm really getting the itch to do something different. So that brings in the GT500. I have uh, considered 11 or 12 GT500, um, but I'm really leaning towards the 1314. Um, one, because I think it's gonna be a more valuable car in the long run. Uh, two, I really like the little display on 1314 in the middle of the cluster. I like 1314 taillights. I like the quad tips. I like the looks of the car. It does have the cool 5.8 liter Trinity. Um, I do plan to blower swap it. So the power wise, um, I mean, I'm pretty much any GT500 I'm looking at is going to be somewhere around 700 wheel horsepower on 93 um, so in terms of that car I mean it wouldn't stay stock um, be looking at 700 wheel horsepower which is what this car makes on E85 that's another reason is um, this car is being significantly less on 93 um, 630 um, versus 709 on E85 E85 is a little bit of a pain which may have spoiled um, kind of the everything I loved about the car maybe I don't know but um, I'm really just getting the itch for something different. The Bullet's gonna serve as my race drag car that I can beat up and rebuild and do all that stuff. The O1 Cobra, just a drift and road course car, and then a GT500, just a really nice car to, to take and do whatever. So that is my reasoning behind it. If it sells the way it is, if you are interested in the car, um, I'll, I'll just be straight up. Um, what I really want for the car altogether is 28,000, which is definitely higher than uh, you know a typical market value. And I got a lot of you know backlash for posting the car. I actually listed it for 32,000 or best offer. Um, I, I always list cars high. Um, that way I have 
some room to negotiate um, and you know it, it's not like I have to sell these things and a lot of people don't understand that they, they thought I was adding some YouTube tax or something like that I didn't even list that it was you know you know my car from my YouTube channel I just list the information about the car but of course everyone on the internet gets mad it, it doesn't really bother me um, if anything it helped promote the ad for the car um, now we do have a few interested people in the car the way it sits but like I said 28,000 is really where I'd be looking at selling it for the way it is and that being E85 fuel system TVS 700 wheel horsepower with the Mantic clutch now if I do end up returning it to stock I'll be looking at around 25 grand is what I would sell the car for with the stock blower um, obviously it would still be tuned 470 wheel horsepower it might still have long tubes in it depending if I get those out or not <laughs> Um, it would still be a very badass car, 50,000 miles, red fire. Um, this isn't really a promotion for me selling the car, but if you are interested, um, go ahead and send me a message on, I guess, Instagram or Facebook, whatever you prefer. Just send me a message. Um, if you're already cash in hand, uh, these cars are very difficult to get a loan on, so don't, I mean, if you can, sure, um, if you are interested in it. Basically, uh, I want to get this car, the GT500. Um, one for me, it's a dream of mine, and then two, um, it would be really good content for the channel. So I think that's about covered most of it. I am gonna pull the car outside, get it cleaned up. Um, it's just a little bit dirty, but Zach did a killer job on the detailing, so this thing will clean right up. So I did go ahead and look at a 13, G, I forget if it's 13 or 14 GT500 um, down in Apaka. Now this car has a 4.0 Whipple, I believe it had. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it was a car that I just wanted to look at more to get the feel for it. I could tell from the images, it's not exactly what I want. Um, obviously every car looks cleaner in images and it, it definitely, I could tell that there was some wear on the steering wheel, some paint, um, really not something I am exactly looking for. I'm looking for a car that was garage kept and not driven every day. So that car didn't really meet my qualifications and I want a bone stock car preferably. So let's jump over to those clips and I hope you enjoy that. So we are in the Cobra, we're getting some coffee here in the morning. I'm 
not sure what I've announced so far in terms of what I'm doing with the Cobra. So I'm just going to talk about the car that we're going to go look at and hopefully I fill in the gaps there. So we're going to look at a 1314 GT500. I don't really think I'm that interested in this car um, because it actually has a 4.0 whip already and it looks like it's modded. Um, and I actually want to stock one, but I do want to go look at one of these before I look at an 11 or 12, just kind of get an idea if I want it. If the car actually is clean and isn't beat, then I might be interested in it and just take the whipple off um, and do something different with it. But I don't really know. Um, I can't really do anything until the Cobra sells, so we're going to go look at it. We got Mr. Derek here. What's up? And we're going to get some coffees. A uh, gentleman actually traded in for a 2018 California Special. The only reason he traded in was because the California Special was uh, automatic. He was trying to drive it manual. Sorry, Andrew, but you might have to get a M3. How's the inside? Pretty nice. Where's the uh, sub? It's gone. What's your first impressions? It's a little cleaner than I originally thought, but dude, the sub is just gone. Really? Yeah. It's got a JMS fuel pump booster. It's a boost wrap boost. No, it's not boost reference. Oh. It's gonna have spare tire. It is dude. not. Uh -oh. oh wait, nope. Uh, yeah, it's not boost reference. Some of these can be boost reference. Well, where's, yeah. Where's the spare tire? Uh, I don't really care about that. Weight reduction. I don't think it. Yeah, it doesn't come with one. I don't think. So the sub is gone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Paint is pretty swirly too. Bad. I kind of like them. I in the photos, I think with if it was lowered down, it would look a lot better. Yeah. But what size are they? I think they're twenties. Looks like a twenty, twenty-one almost. Twenty, three fifteen, uh, thirty-five, twenty. That really looks like a bigger than a twenty, doesn't it? Go take it for a test drive. Know some weird things around it, but we'll check it out. Gotta check engine light. But this is what I'm looking for: Recaro's blue with the nav. So we'll see. I looked at the Carfax, looked it over online. Mm -hmm. I've been looking for mostly a stock one. You can go left. Left. Mm -hmm. Have you had any luck finding any stock ones? There's two in Jacksonville. Is that for the seatbelt? Probably. Right here side, we'll go down to the light and then take a right in the light. Right at the light, 
Sim? Yeah. The suspension's all stock on it. And it I don't like the clutch. It doesn't feel smooth. Um, is it rough or is it too soft? It's rough. It's it's not the engagement. It's the uh, it's the way the pedal feels. Mm -hmm. Typically, these cars feel really smooth. Yeah. So these have a really long first gear. So first gear will go like to like 40 miles an hour. We're going 20 at first. Are you serious? Yeah, because these are factory 200 mile an hour cars. <laughs> wow. Step. <laughs> What's the code for? I don't know yet. All right, man. Well, we looked at it. it sucked. It's a nice car. It's just it's got some unknowns. Need it's got some, some unknowns. So let's go uh, head back in the Cobra. Hopefully, hopefully she's not too pissed at us. <laughs> oh, they're trying to tow that thing. There's the baby. Yeah. Truck's loading up on the converter, dude. What are you gonna do? driven um, I mean I don't want to shit on it too bad because I know they need to sell it but for me price is way too high it was at 44,000 um, I really think it's a mid to high 30s car um, it has a 4 0 Whipple but that does not add any value whatsoever um, it actually decreases the value essentially it has hooks axle backs Recaro's nav um, the wheels on it are you know they're kind of nice but I don't know um, but the paint had swirl marks, um, rear bumper was coming, you know, off a little bit, so it looks like it was repainted. Um, nice car, um, and then there was some weird clutch issues, and, um, it was also throwing a random misfire code. So, they said that they're gonna pull it into service and probably do spark plugs and maybe even a clutch on it, but, um, for the price, I told them, hey, if they drop the price significantly, I might be interested in it, but, yeah, really, the I color is great, I love yeah. that color. I want an all stock one because a stock one is going to be a garage kept old man car um, and then I'm going to have a fresh slate to work off of. Um, while that car is, I mean, really it only has a blower swap and coupe taxi bags, um, but it's definitely been driven a lot. So, you know, we'll keep searching. Mm -hmm. 